look who's here, y'all. Well, our first guest is a comedian, uh, a podcaster, actor. You may know him best uh, as Randy from the Scream, the legendary Scream movies. This year, that's right. This year, Jamie Kennedy is taking his comedy tour around the country, including right here in Minnesota. Audience, give it up for Jamie Kennedy. Thank you, buddy. Uh, thank you for staying uh, past our awkward handshake. Yeah. yeah. We had the most awkward handshake I've done with a guest in nine years. It really what we hugged, but then, and then we, we were went like, like this. this and we were like, we were like this. Yeah. And then I was like, is this awkward? You're like, yeah. Yeah, it's awkward. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, let me start with a compliment. I, as I, I, I either like to start or end. Let me, and you know this. Thank you. Jamie's been here before, and thank you for being cool. Because sometimes, uh, no, 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 listen. Because sometimes interviewing comedians on a talk show like this uh. is like interviewing an ambient induced turtle. Uh, and you, and you're cool. Y you're. Aren't turtles kind of naturally on ambient? <laughs> True. That's but you, you know, I just remember the last time you were here, you're just cool as hell. You were nice to everybody, and, and you're forthcoming, and you come to play. As yeah. someone that does this job, thank you for doing your job and being oh, cool as hell. Wow. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, seriously, I, man, I mean it. No, I get what you're saying. Yeah. There's certain things that you can't talk about on a 10 a.m. hour. Yeah, yeah I got exactly. You. Boop. You still um, got to sell, sell a Swiffer. So that's right. I got you. Um, did you used to work at Red Lobster? I did. Oh, I know. I did too. No. I'm a proud no. Claw alumnus. Pour some out. Right? This is, let me tell you a story. Okay, go ahead. So I, I love a good Red Lobster story. I, I, got, I got a job there when I was 16, and then I loved it so much when I moved to L.A. to pursue my dream, I got a transfer. So I went, I got recommended as a busboy to the uh, North Hollywood one because I was such a good busboy in the Philly one. And so I worked there, and it was the first time I ever saw, I don't know if I can say this, I had a, my first joke was the picky bum because <laughs> we, had, we had a lot of bread. And I would give the guy bread, and the guy goes, hey, uh, you got any lobster dill? <laughs> And I was like, that's a lot of carbs, man. Yeah. This was, and I, and I, I cried because it's closing. I really, it's sad. Oh, I, my it's first, sad. My first paycheck I ever made, I have it framed. Okay. Mm. May I tell you my quick Red Lobster story? You should. Because yeah. I quit. It's your show. I quit in a blaze of glory. Similar to you, listen to this. We're about, we have a lot of, we're about the same age. Listen to this. I too transferred here. I wanted to pursue a job in television. I worked in Indiana, transferred to this one here, uh, worked there for six months. I went up to a table of about 12, and the woman at the head of the table looked at me up uh, through her big church hat. And she looked at me and she goes, bring, I didn't even say hi, Jamie. I said, uh, hi. she was, bring me my grape jelly. And I went, I'm sorry, what? And she goes, bring me my grape jelly. And I go, I'm sorry, ma'am, for what? And she goes, for my biscuits. And I said, ma'am, I go, ma'am, they're cheddar garlic biscuits. And she grabbed my arm and she goes, bring me my grape jelly, gay boy. And I snapped my arm back and I went, this ain't Cracker Barrel, biatch. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> True story. Wow. True story. Yeah. That's a story we can do at 10.30 a.m.? <laughs> <laughs> wow, you, she came in hot. She did. How about this? You guys aren't going to know this. I feel the audience will like it. Remember the Hokies? They're great. They're, the Hokies. Do, remember we the, have one. People, you guys understand what a Hokie are. These kids today, listen to me, I'm an old man. You would take a thing and you would Hokie the carpet. Yes! And there was no electrical power, and that was to get, like, the little dust. And, dude, you would have to pick up lops. You would have to pick up, like, shrimp tails. It was a... Jamie, as a special wow. guest... Wow! 
Wow. Wow. Let's go. Jamie, let's Look go over hokey this. this. Come wow. on, let's go. Come on, we're gonna. Wow. There we Look go. Look at this. Let me tell you. The youth today have no idea how good you have it. Look at <laughs> Look at this. There's no power here. All right, look at this. Man, but look at the suction on this thing. You can get right in. Now look, there's no power, but look at it. It gets it right up. Now what we're doing, we're doing two for three payments of $29.99. Now, what I can, bro, this is, I feel like Minnesota respects a good hokey. They do. Yeah. There we go. You we'll give that to you there, for a minute. There we there. go. You're going to yeah. see, it's oh. not easy. <laughs> Let's go, bro. You know, I won't even go deeper. People sometimes would. I'm gonna say this. I hope I can. People would throw up. Yes. And guess what? You, we had to use to clean it up. The hokey. Yeah. Yes. And boss is like, just do it. I'm like, dude, it's a hokey. Yeah. Well, wow. Was, right? We have bonded. We have bonded. We have bonded. Yeah. It's the same though. I. It's. I really am sad. Like I love. Me too. It was my first job ever. My mother's like, "You got to learn about life, so go to Red Lobster." And yes. <laughs> you meet every type of person. Amazing. Okay, yeah. speaking of that, do you like doing the conventions? Oh, they're incredible. They're incredible. I love you. Ask that. Yeah, they're. They're. I mean, bigger. this is a person. Like, legitimately, the interaction with the fans. I do. I love it. The hardest thing, though, is the energy exchange because one people will come up to you, and they'll just be like, you know, I really love Scream, and someone else will just be crying. Um, and some people say Scream is my comfort movie, which is a little strange. <laughs> but you know, they like to see. <laughs> like you see high schoolers running around a house for their lives. All right, I got you. Uh, but it, it's it's incredible. But you know, it's in, it's an it's, exchange. It's, it's an exchange of just. It's bigger than ever, Jason. Yeah. It's bigger than ever. It's I incredible. was. Not, are there? I thought it was just. Are there more cons than the, the, every time? I, there's a new one popping up. Like we have Twin Cities Con here. Yes. And it's huge. Uh, I I look at it like this. With the way the world is going, and with yeah. AI and the different types of technology, our content, our business is being disrupted. So when people get to see you live, we're like a living, you know, piece of art or like, you know, we're like a relic. We're like, oh, that's a human. I saw him because <laughs> it's so weird now and yeah. it's just getting bigger. I mean, all, everyone, John Travolta went to one, which is incredible. Did Travolta go to one? He went to one, yes. I think he donated all the money or some of it to charity. I mean, because he probably made some good cash. Because but. it used to be, I mean. Because it's kind of like Vegas. Vegas used to be the thing where you went to Vegas to kind of end your career. And now Adele's there. Conventions used yes. to be, oh, it's, it's uh, but now everybody's there. Boulevard of Broken Dreams, I called it. You'd show up and you were the guy that got killed, or like the third guy that got killed, and I spit in your grave three. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> did the crowd get that one? They, uh, they, uh, they <laughs> did, yeah, they yeah. did, yeah. Mar More? Marge is holding the hokey going, what? <laughs> I no, I More see. with Jamie when we come back. Back I in a moment, see. everybody. Bro. Oh, God. <laughs> Thank you. Welcome back. If you're here in the area, go see Jamie at Crooners. Tickets at Crooners' website. I'll give you the info in a little bit. Um, Going on the road and stand up in this era, because uh, again, go to Crooners if you're here, uh, here locally in the, yeah, great venue. Seven o'clock tonight. Tonight. Mm -hmm. uh, is comedy hard nowadays? Because uh, everyone's so darn sensitive. Yeah, you think? Yeah. Um, <laughs> Not this crowd, <laughs> yeah. 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 Well, it's it, well, it's just like if you said like, hey, you know, I had a sandwich and I, the wheat bread was incredible. We live in a society where someone goes, what do you got against rye? Like, <laughs> it, it's, it's, so it's, True. it's, no, I think it's even better than ever. You know what I'm saying? Really? Because, yeah, in a, it, because people are so voracious for it. And, you know, since the pandemic, people have come back and they really want to absorb something live and laugh. And I feel so blessed to be able to do it. I'm not just saying that, like the connection with the audience mm -hmm. and us is more than ever, but people will get offended. Yeah. And then people will then fight back against that. So they're even more of a fan. And there's a lot of people I say, you know, that have a voice on social media, like, you know, because that's what it's yep. done. But I think a lot of people should have laryngitis. So I think <laughs> I'm just. Yeah. Like, Not think, everybody yeah. should have hey, a man. microphone. You're going to laugh, but um, when we were talking about the, the segment, I said, you know, like, okay, we'll talk about Jeff Lewis. We'll talk about the chumps. We'll talk about uh, stand up. I said, oh, no, no, no. I said, what we have to talk about is your appearance 
on the Oprah Winfrey show. Oh. Because Jamie, I'm not kidding. I have that thing on VHS. Really? And it makes me, out of all the stuff that you've, and you've done a lot, man, I'm, I'm a huge Scream fan, but your, if you guys don't know this, we have a little bit, it's, is it a Sot Jeff or just V? It's a Sot, this is, Jamie did some pranks on unsuspecting audience members who signed up for a makeover, not realizing that it was really Jamie dressed as a new age beauty guru. Mm -hmm. Watch this. You can use this look when you pick up your grandkids from kindergarten. You can use this look and you just, you know, around the house, just kicking it. So I want you to trust me, Bubba. Okay, how are we feeling? Girls, you know the wardrobe. This is good because 20 million people are going to see you on Oprah looking like this. <laughs> oh, oh my God! Oh, please. <laughs> please. This is. It's Wow, that was that was a fun one. She she came in. She was a nice, unsuspecting housewife, and uh, we we made her look like Marilyn Manson. So, <laughs> yeah. was that fun to do, man? It was incredible because Oprah, that team, yeah, incredible. A shout out, Sandy, her producer. They just let me go in, and they said, "Do whatever you want." And they said, "This is this." So we pitched them a segment, and it was nuts. And so I would go around to start the segment, and I would be like, you know, before we have to really make your skin feel loved. <laughs> So I played a flute and I was just doing it at her and I was like, this is releasing the epidermis, man. And like she was like, oh. It was so good. If you see it on YouTube, it was, you have to watch it. it was, okay, really quick, the, the podcast too. I mean, uh, executive producer Jeff, uh, Jeff Lewis Live loves, I mean, literally when we booked you, I loved you for Oprah. He loved you. Hi, chumps out there. That's the Chumpy fan base. Chumps, That's Chumpy right, yeah. Chump. Do you like doing the podcast? Oh, uh, it's incredible. I do it once a week. My co host is mostly Mercedes Javid. She's one of the stars of Traders that was just yep. on. And it's just, it's, it's awesome. Jeff is, he's such a beautiful soul and he creates amazing radio. So, the the like, podcast forum is such a, it's a great yeah. avenue. You don't have to worry about going to commercials like I have to right now. It's just you can talk. <laughs> So, hey, Red Lobster's got to pay the bill. That's right. <laughs> Give it up for this was an offer. Look at this. We did it. Give it up for Jamie Kennedy, everybody. Again, if you're in the area, go to Crooners tonight, man. Tonight, Festival. June 6th at Crooners, yes. and just go to. Uh, he's headlining the Loons on the Lake Comedy Festival to see tickets. the full lineup. Mm -hmm. Jamie Kennedy. And it's a festival. Ten thousand dollars to the winner through a, a local. Yeah. yeah. So you should come on out. 10,000, <laughs> jamiekennedy.com. Give it up for Jamie Kennedy. Thank we'll be you. right back, everybody. Thank you. Buddy, thank you thank so much. You. I so appreciate really, it. Really great. Thank, thank you, you, buddy. I should have worn a different